we touched on this briefly earlier with Amazon. You've got other emergent hybrid industries. They're not really a logistics company. They're not really an e-commerce company, but they're like this mishmash of this whole thing. And it's given us, our community, a new platform of how to do things, right? Some of the examples are Wayfair, for example. One of my good friends, P. Mento, he is the uh, commercial manager for the freight forwarding sector of Wayfair, right? Now, that's essentially another Amazon model at play right now for the bulky uh, goods, right? Yeah. And then you have another digital forwarder, which has um, had a meteoric rise um, um, due to its systems, um, which is Flexport, right? Massive attention, massive investments, massive success story there. Um, but of one of the recent announcements, which was again, right in line of what we're talking about here is almost morphing yourself into this hybrid style of industry. And they partnered with Shopify, right? And I thought that was a very genius move. Why? Because, well, you started off as a digital forwarder. You, you didn't start off as an Amazon 2.0, but now you're seeing that, okay, there is some gap between Amazon and what you do as a business. How do we capture that market? Well, Shopify is one of our investors. Let's partner them with, I mean, partner up with them. So we've got the front end commercial facing side and we've got the freight side, put them together. You have essentially this hybrid Amazon model at play now. Yeah, right yeah. super powerful thinking there right i mean to be frank you know i mean i'm super envious that i'm not in that decision making chair or in, in part of that group for me to brainstorm and come up with these ideas because that stuff excites me because they they are forward thinking because they know if they continue to do what they're currently doing they're going to be automated out they're going to be coded out right they're going to be digitized out um yeah. And what is your purpose after that? So there is movements. And so again, for a traditional guy in a traditional for freight forwarding environment in logistics who are still belonging to the traditional way of doing things, all of these developments I see as challenges in us attracting the talent we need to bring us forward. <laughs> really. yeah. Yeah. Because it's the yeah. ones that already has those resources that are winning. Yeah. Right. And so that's a massive challenge. Think global logistics. logistics.